asking a lot, son. You're assuming a grave responsibility, aside from a personal risk. And we feel confident that if anybody can get the money through safely, you boys can. We'll make it all right. Tucson and Lullaby are on their way to Rock Springs to deliver some cattle. They're meeting me in Red Rock. I've wired the sheriff over there to see if he can fix up an escort on your way back. Now, this letter authorizes the president of the Red Rock National Bank to hand over to you $22,000 due the Cattlemen's Association. Now, good luck and don't take any chances. Don't worry. The money's as good as here. Remember, Stoney, if anything happens to that money, I'll be bankrupt. Part of that money's ours, Jake. We're not in any position to lose it. Keep your fingers crossed, boys. We should be back sometime tomorrow. So long. Door you collected. Well, you boys get around, don't okay. you? Uh, you've got the wrong tip. I haven't got the money. Thank you. That's all there is. Why, well, you chumpy's on his way to collect. But, dude, I got it straight. Ah, uh, you couldn't get nothing straight. Well, I'm sorry to put you boys to all this trouble. Is there anything else I can do? Yeah. Take off that outfit and watch me shave. Well, how about it? Say, you're a dead ringer for him, dude. <laughs> yeah. You look more like him than he does himself. <laughs> Take good care of him, Starlight. Look 
looks enough alike. I'll take yours. He's easier to handle. <laughs> You know where to park him. Hello, boys. Howdy. Howdy. We'll be in to see you as soon as Tony gets here. Fine. I'll have everything ready and waiting for you. that guy. Something tells me he's a slicker. Think so? Positively. getting too fancy, I'll get him so rattled he won't know whether he's playing pool or basketball. Hey, lunkhead, where'd you get them loud socks? I wear them socks to keep my feet from going to sleep, blockhead. He talked me. You should talk to me about socks. Why, you've got your socks on wrong side out. <laughs> yeah, feet got hot and I had to turn the holes on them. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, uh, nice to see you, too. Uh, wait for me, will you? Sure, I will. I'll see you later. Hi, Stoney. I'm rounding up the boys. We'll be waiting for you. Right. Yes, Mr. Brook. He's expecting you. Go right in. Thanks. What's the matter, Stoney? Aren't you speaking to your old friends anymore? Well, sure, sure. I, I didn't see you. How you feeling? Fine, thank you. Well, I'll see you later. Hello, Stoney. Howdy, Mr. Pitt. You're looking well? Thanks. Have you put on some weight? No, no, I don't think so. 
Sit down. Uh, have a cigar. Uh, no, I, I forgot you don't smoke. Well? I suppose you come for the money. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You are wise in taking every precaution with this gang of hoodlums at large. Yeah, yeah, I always believe in playing safe. Hi, Jim. Have you seen Stoney? He just went in the bank. Thanks. By the way, where are our Tucson and Lullaby? Why, they could make it this trip. Hello, Miss McCoy. Is Stoney here? Yes. How's your work? Uh, fine, fine. You're not Stoney, Brooke. That's right. <laughs> Stoney! I hadn't have seen it with my own eyes. The kid must have gone loco. Stoney Brooks just murdered Mr. Pierce. Somebody get the sheriff. Help, somebody. Come on, we gotta find him. 